Here in Canada, the country's housing agency is calling attention to a potential storm of another kind. CTV's Heather Wright explains. Canadian households owe more in debt than the value of Canada's entire economy, with nearly three quarters of that debt tied to mortgages. Because of the absence of housing supply, um, Canadians are just piling up the debt. This is creating a lot of risks. Aladab Yorwith wrote the report for the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation and says this debt has put the country's economy at a higher risk in the event of a global economic crisis like a recession. We're not predicting it, but if there are widespread job losses, uh, then paying off mortgages in that circumstance is really difficult. Canada's level of household debt is the highest in the G7 and has been growing for years. In 2008, it was 80 percent of GDP. 95% in 2010 and 100% in 2020. Now it's up to 107%. This is a story about real estate. It's a story about very high house prices. One of the solutions to bringing down those sky-high home prices is to, of course, build more houses, apartments and rental units. But rising interest rates are now threatening to cool the construction industry as well. One of the big drivers of economic growth in Canada, which is household construction and renovation, will be substantially constrained by these much higher interest rates. The Bank of Canada's aggressive rate hike cycle began last year aimed at reining in runaway inflation. And while the consumer price index has fallen, it's still well off the central bank's inflation target of 2%. Start putting some money aside in a rainy day fund to handle those higher payments should rates remain elevated for the next few years. The Bank of Canada has not raised interest rates since January, but has suggested another rate hike may be necessary this year, with its next announcement in two weeks. Heather Wright, CTV News, Toronto.